And when Hunter Biden fills out a fake application, a false application for a, for a gun permit, and then is facing a 10-year mandatory minimum, which was mandated by legislation sponsored by his father, we're telling people that the law doesn't apply to everybody. In a Christie administration, he would go to jail for 10 years. What about a President Ramaswamy? What does a President Ramaswamy do about guns? So the reality is we have a crime wave in this country and we know how to fix it. The question is, do we actually have the spine to do it? More cops in the streets who are on the streets able to do their jobs without looking over their shoulder for getting sued. And we also have a mental health epidemic in this country. Just over the same period that we have closed mental health institutions, we have seen a spike in violent crime. Do we have the spine to bring them back? I think we should as president, I will. But it's not just drugging up people in those psychiatric institutions with Zoloft and Seroquel. It's a deeper issue. I think faith-based approaches can play a role here, too. We're in the middle of a national identity crisis. And I say this as a member of my generation. The problem in our country right now, the reason we have that mental health epidemic, is that people are so hungry for purpose and meaning at a time when family, faith, patriotism, hard work have all disappeared. What we really need is a tonal reset from the top, saying that this is what it means to be an American. Yes, we will stand for the rule of law. Yes, we will close the southern border where criminals are coming in every day.